is my PVC bike rack I built for my short bed Honda Ridgeline. So the Honda Ridgeline has a lip right here on the bed. So this bike rack just goes up under that lip and it's held in place by tension. So I take a little S hook. That then is fed through the PVC pipe. Take the other S hook that is on the ratchet. And then right now there's a little bit of slip in it. So once you tighten it up, it's not going anywhere. This is this is firmly in place, but it just goes right up under that lip and the tension holds it in place. This is the entire bike frame. Let me just sort of go through the components. It's PVC pipe and where I would have to connect, for example, right there, two T joints, there is a piece right there. I think it's like a one inch piece that I would glue on either side to hold T joint together. Straight, two more T joints, and just the length of what you need for the bed. Right here, 45 degree angle, so straight, 45 degree angle, straight, and then two T's down here, but you'll notice they're angled a little. This one's straight up, and this one is angled back. So dry fitting it is really important because I glue dries really fast. Down here, you want it open all the way through to this end so the strap can go through. And then I just painted it with black spray paint that would adhere to plastic. Put the bikes in backwards. I needed to be able to have an angle right here so they didn't run into the all the gears or any of the mechanics. So I just did trial and error of what angle I needed on the PVC pipe so that it would not damage any of the mechanics of the bike. And it holds the bike up fine while I'm loading them. And then I'll show you how I strap them down. Both bikes are in the, the truck bed now. And I'll show you how I keep them secure. This stuff is the kind of stuff you put under rugs so they don't slip. And initially I used to just wrap the strap with this stuff wasn't on there. I would wrap it around the post and the frame here and it tended to slide because this is slick, the nylon strap is slip, slick. So I started putting the stuff you put under a rug, wrap it around once and it holds it perfectly. So I have a strap just like the one down there. I just put it in this upper bracket, wrap it around once, but I make sure it's snug. Go around the other bike. Strap is now going to go through this ratchet and I'll tighten it. I just fed it through the slot in the ratchet and I just tighten it up until the bikes feel secure and they're good and secure piece of foam is, I think it's called a gutter guard. You can get it at Lowe's. People put it in gutters to, I guess, catch leaves. But I put it back here just so the tires don't wiggle. So when I shut the truck bed, it gives them something to lean against. So you see the, the gutter guard foam down at the bottom. But again, I put this other piece of foam in here just to keep the bikes from rubbing together. It keeps the wheels from moving. The bikes are very secure with the strap, and it's as easy as that.